On a global basis, organizations are facing a new attack vector that cyber criminals are taking advantage of every single day to steal information from them. Unfortunately, they're not able to detect or respond to these attacks due to the very nature of the attack vector. Every single organization has sensitive information that they want to protect. They normally go about protecting this data by deploying numerous security solutions. Things like, for example, a next generation firewall, as well as deploying their own services or subscribing to other security services that may include things like application whitelisting and blacklisting, security information and event management, secure gateways, as well as things like virtual patching solutions, sandboxing, data leakage and protection solutions, and then antivirus. All of these solutions inspect the unencrypted traffic and ensure that user data is evaluated for any malicious activity, allowing users to say, for example, access the internet in a safe manner. Using encryption, users are also able to securely access secure websites, for example, like a banking website is a typical example, using something like TLS or SSL. SSH also provides administrators with elevated privileges to workloads in the data center or running in the cloud and allows for secure transfer of data over encrypted channels. If we plot out the rapid increase from, say, 2010 to present date, the increase on attacks and of keys and certificates has grown quite alarmingly. But we first have to ask ourselves, why has this increase on keys and certificates, the attack on them, grown such a rapid rate? And to answer that question, let's first go look back at what a traditional security deployment looks like. Uh, Keys and certificates are generally blindly trusted by most security solutions as well as most enterprises. And as a result, it just makes sense. Why not utilize an attack vector that's generally trusted by organizations and security solutions? So let's look at what a traditional or what a normal enterprise security strategy looks like. And let's go ahead and plot out some of the security solutions that are deployed and their ability to respond to specific attack vectors and their awareness of those attack vectors, their visibility into those attack vectors, and then also their detection of malicious activity within those attack vectors. And let's plot that out. If we then look at those specific solutions, for example, something like a VPN or antivirus or a firewall, as well as intrusion detection, intrusion, intrusion protection, identity and access management, DLP, encryption, and then MDM solutions, all of which do a great job at detecting specific threats related to their threat vectors that they're looking at. But one specific attack vector that's not being looked at is keys and certificates. And if we look at keys and certificates, if I'm a cyber criminal, it just makes perfect sense to go ahead and utilize keys and certificates as a typical attack vector because it has a trusted status. It establishes trust. And for that reason, it just makes perfect sense then as a to have keys and certificates, for example, uh, as a new way in into organizations because of the elevated trusted status that they enable. 